Farming is more than just planting seeds. It's about planting a future. But here's the challenge. How do you grow more while spending less and still protecting the planet? Small farms are at the heart of America's agriculture, but without sustainable practices, even the smallest inefficiencies can mean the difference between thriving or barely surviving. Stick around because today we're counting down the top five sustainable farming methods designed specifically for small farms. Whether you're just starting out or a seasoned grower, these techniques could revolutionize your approach to farming and your bottom line. But quick question, have you ever thought about how worms might just be your farm's biggest unsung heroes? Don't worry, we'll get there. Let's kick things off with a method that's as old as farming itself, crop rotation. It's not just about keeping things fresh in the soil, it's about breaking pest cycles and improving yields. By alternating what you plant, you're essentially letting your fields recharge, kind of like giving your soil a spa day. Imagine growing nitrogen-fixing crops like legumes one season and cash crops the next. It's like feeding the land while feeding your wallet. But what if I told you there's a method that doesn't just recharge the soil, but actually rebuilds it from scratch? Enter no-till farming, the ultimate hack for healthier soil. Instead of turning over the earth and exposing it to erosion, no-till practices keep the soil structure intact. The result, less erosion, better water retention, and a whole ecosystem thriving right beneath your feet. Think about it. Every time you skip tilling, you're saving time, conserving fuel, and creating a more resilient farm. And for small farms, that means less labor and more profit. Now, if only no-till farming could do your taxes, right? Still, no-till is just the beginning. Let's talk about a method that brings in nature's hardest workers without a paycheck. Next up, integrated pest management. IPM, a fancy name for farming with nature, not against it. This method uses natural predators like ladybugs and birds to manage pests, reducing the need for chemicals. Here's the exciting part. IPM isn't just eco-friendly, it's also cost-effective. Imagine slashing your pesticide bill while improving the health of your crops. And yes, that means fewer chemicals on your dinner plate too. But wait, what if you could build an entire ecosystem that supports itself with virtually no inputs from you? That's where permaculture comes in a farming philosophy that mimics natural ecosystems. Picture this, a small farm with fruit trees providing shade for vegetable beds, chickens roaming for pests, and compost piles turning waste into gold. It's the ultimate setup, designed to be as low maintenance as it is productive. The best part, it works in harmony with the environment creating a system that practically runs itself over time. Okay, let's be honest, if farming could completely run itself, we'd all be on vacation right now. But this next method might just be the closest thing. Finally, aquaponics, the future of sustainable farming. Imagine growing plants and raising fish together in a closed loop system. Fish waste feeds the plants and the plants clean the water for the fish. It's a win-win. This space-saving method is perfect for small farms, urban settings, or anyone looking to grow more with less. Plus, it's scalable. Start with a small tank and grow from there. And here's the kicker. Aquaponics could redefine how we think about food security in a changing climate. So there you have it, the top five sustainable farming methods for small farms. Whether it's the timeless wisdom of crop rotation, the futuristic innovation of aquaponics, or the harmony of permaculture, these techniques aren't just about saving the planet, they're about building a legacy. And if this has sparked your curiosity, you'll love our next video on the top five agricultural drones. These high-tech tools are transforming farming as we know it, and you won't believe what they're capable of. Click the video on your screen now, and I'll see you there.